Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the Asuma playing Factorio Space Age. Uh, in the last stream we went to space for the very first time and built the dirt platform. And today we're going to be going to a whole new planet. Uh, we're doing some research at the moment. And we're actually starting to run out of things to research, funny enough. Uh, I've done a little bit of this and that around the base, and I've done a fair bit of work on the platform as well. Also, uh, the description, or was it the tips? I think it might have been the tips section. Had some information about the planet we're going to. And actually, things I haven't read about the other ones, because, oh my god. Yo! <laughs> it's a humid, swampy planet with rich, exotic vegetation that can be cultivated using the agricultural tower and processed in the bio chamber so we can't find any of the ores but plants provide alternative ways of producing needed items most of the items from agriculture come with the added challenge of spoiling over time huh all oh, right uh, and the science pack can't be stockpiled and solar panels are weaker, it's still usable. My plan was to go to uh, Fulga Ful Fulgora today. So uh, we're going to stick with that plan. Welcome to the peeps in chat. Chibi Pepper, Maddie, One Sticks and Stones, and Badly Drawn Jack. Welcome to the stream, peeps. So Volcanus is a hot planet without water. You can't find crude oil or uranium. But it serves several new resources. Lava is infinite, uh, and substitute for patches of stone, iron, and copper, and they can be found in the big rock. Solar panel is more effective, but the environment is inhospitable with mountainous volcanoes, rivers, lava, and ash, and sulfuric acid geysers. And you, oh wait, the lava isn't landfillable. But it can be crossed by elevated rails. I was actually preparing elevated rails uh, in the base. But I thought you are supposed to use them on this planet. I am mistaken. So this is one that is a dry barren planet with no signs of life. And dangerous lightning activity in the frequent night cycles. Okay, so that means that we need the lightning rod. Solar panel less effective. But lightning can be collected by entity rods and stored in accumulators. There are no natural resources found anywhere on the planet. The only thing available are leftovers in the form of entity scrap. Oh, this is... I think this is where we do the recycling stuff. Uh, what might have been oceans is now full of heavy oil that can be extracted by the offshore pump. It isn't landfillable. But it can be crossed by elevated rails. Oh, so that, that's why I built the elevated rails. So yeah, I think this is the planet where you do scrap recycling. So not only have I made uh, rails available, I've also brought these things up here so that we have accumulators and solar panels. We got bear in the house. 881. Uh, 38 months. Thank you so much, bear. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Hello, gamers, as always, I see. Oh my gosh, it's an next stream, says... Bo Megan. It usually is when you when you come over here. It usually is. Smart in 1018 here for 101 months. Appreciate it, my dude. Wow. Big numbers right there. Hello, I haven't tuned in for a while. Did the thing that used my username ever get put to use? Otherwise, happy October. Did you not see did you not see the animation last time? Uh, because yes, you, you should be a part of the the whole thing now. That is, yeah, these are passive provider chests. So we can call this stuff from the network. I think I'm actually going to throw down another RoboPort uh, right next to this one. Not sure how big a difference it has to have like... Oh, that one's right there. To have them like close together, but... Surely it can't do that much harm. Now, the one thing that's lacking down here is the speed of these ones going to throttle the production up top. And because I've just stitched it onto our mall, it's not really built to be scaled up. The space to do that would probably be here. So you know, maybe I could extend it and do that at some other point. Anyway, it's it's slowly producing some of those. Maybe I should consider that. I'm probably not going to need a lot of this. 
Let's go ahead and uh, those are the supports. I think the ramps might not be a big deal either. Um, who knows? We'll have to find out. Why is my cursor so big? So I can easily see it. <laughs> nice, big, invisible, right? That's the that's the philosophy behind it. Smartin says okay. Uh, I'm guessing that means okay. You saw the animation. Anyway, um, right, so all of this stuff working absolutely fine. Let's go check out the dirt platform. Uh, this thing, it might look good, but it's not that great. Uh, several times I realized there's things here I could have done a lot better. I kind of didn't know how big this platform would end up being, though. Now, one thing we do do up here is constantly produce iron to the point where I think I'm going to disable it because it's been causing some issues down below. So... I don't want it to disrupt our science production, but I'm fairly confident we can do away with uh, most of that iron production. And then the rest of what's coming through will now serve science production. Uh, there's a little system here. We have iron on one side and science packs on the other. And then we've got a, a thing here to not let this fill up because the whole thing filled up with iron plates and caused me a big headache. Uh, so what I could have done different, I reckon, is use one belt for both things. Because if you notice, when you look in, everything runs on the outside there and everything's on the inside here. So it's possible I could have actually had this all operating on uh, one belt. And then it ended up using up, like, a lot of space and making all of this awkward. But I managed to take some of our iron and feed it up to here. So when we start to move, we should be shooting asteroids with these guns, which means I probably want to fire up these furnaces again so we've got more iron in the system. Is this the mod? I know Factorio 2.0 update is going to have extraterrestrial stuff. Now, the, the, the mod is the extraterrestrial stuff. The 2.0 update is the base game. So they've updated the base game to 2.0 for free. That includes just tons of great quality of life changes and then they've released it at the same time as space age which is built on top of 2.0 so i'm, I'm playing the uh, dlc and it's on top of the 2.0 game too early in the morning but i can't help but fall back asleep so hi lol if you need to go back to bed don't let me keep you up. DJ Eckle, thank you for 72 months of the Prime. Appreciate it, month dude. 72. Woo! What a what an incredible number. Crazy how long some of y'all are stuck around for. Much appreciated as always. So we get ice over here, we turn it into water, and then with iron ore, we create this thruster oxidizer. Um, equally create water again, and then with carbon we create thruster fuel. So from all of these asteroids, we uh, continuously get stuff. But what you'll notice is that our asteroids over here are constantly making iron so they don't get backed up because the iron's constantly being used and sent back to Earth. And then the carbon doesn't have much of a use, so that fills up and doesn't do much. Uh, but then the ice. The ice seems to be like quite rare or we seem to consume a lot of it. But as you can see... Um, Yeah, look at that. The, this Okay, so that's not full. Isn't that the one that does carbon? Oh, it doesn't have water. Okay. Maybe does that one. So ice is really throttling stuff here. And yes, the whole thing is slightly uneven and whatnot. <laughs> but that's kind of the fun of it, right? I have fallen asleep before in your streams, so it's noticeably due to my horrible sleep schedule. There is, there is a, a sign of what's wrong there. If you're falling asleep while you're watching video content, you're doing it wrong. You need, like, to have good sleep hygiene, you need to, like, wind down. You need to go into, like, a dark environment and slow everything down. You know, get away from screens. Get your mind at ease. And then, you know, it'll help you, it'll help you fall asleep. But like, if you're looking at screens and falling asleep, that's that's gonna mess that's gonna mess with your uh, sleep hygiene, you know. Right, while we're out and about, we do want research to continue. 
I did get to upgrade our firepower before leaving here, which should be handy. Um, the atomic bomb? Do I want to research that? This feels... This feels, like, morally wrong. <laughs> um, also, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I should be doing these, you know? Anyway, in terms of essential stuff that we're going to need soon... I don't see us needing much of this or that immediately. Yeah, there's nothing really that takes priority here. So I think it's always good to keep the efficiency of such things uh, ticking along. So we'll put that on the queue. Do the same for steel. These are, these are ones that quite take, a, take quite a bit of time. You know what? It might be actually that I shouldn't enqueue anything because especially if they're going to take a long time because we might we might actually want to start researching stuff related to the planet so only essentials huh Ooh. oh my god I'm so excited for all the stuff in this pack okay uh what we're gonna do now is try and move this platform to go to the planet but I need your help chat because I am not myself on the platform and i'm wondering if i need to be up there to go to another planet so uh it, it really help is the normal x subface broken just a star for me says a prover uh it doesn't appear next to your name for some reason i used to have my uh my pc in my room a few years back i moved everything elsewhere and i've been sleeping way better maybe i should get rid of the tv too then absolutely man don't like i have nothing in my room it's blackout uh, there's no devices in there, right? Except when I go to bed, I put them on charge next to my bed, and that just means, you know, alarm clock. Even that's probably something that could be optimized, but my alarm clock's on my phone. But in general, like, you, your brain associates these things, right? So if you start watching telly in bed, your brain sort of associates those two things together. Smartin, we're not playing on peaceful mode. Yes, you need to get up in the rocket, go to the spaceship to be able to travel. Okay, so in order for me to do that... Look at that. Only armor and guns are allowed, so... I'm able to take this stuff down here. Which does include all of that, but I don't think you're able to then... Shimmy things into here, right? And I'm not sure if I should be changing this out for some other things like maybe it'd be useful to have like a, a personal shield in there or something that actually sounds kind of smart i think i might do that just in case so, so when i go up there and i'm on this planet is it like i'm starting at the beginning of the game again or am i supposed to be setting up some sort of logistic chain to get all of the stuff that i've got onto that planet so i can build things because that's where that's where i'm unsure about what to do i feel like i'm just sending myself off to die <laughs> as grim as that sounds yeah, I think we'll dedicate um, five slots to an energy shield. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't. It takes up... No, that's not what I want to do. Let's go with just having three in there, I think. now so we've got a little extra shielding going on you can drop stuff up uh from the ship to the planet interesting right so i need to i need to think ahead of time it seems interesting um i know we're going to be building a lightning rod i can't remember if we have access to look at the recipe yet because this is this is where i feel like you need a lot of uh planning and preparation and i'm just not sure what to do um like that needs raw ingredients right which i think we're gonna get off of the planet so yeah it's basically it's not apparent to me what i need to take so any tips are welcome let's go ahead and grab uh probably just gonna need two of those can i take blueprints with me i tend to just leave them in my inventory right so I still use the TV in my bedroom, but when I'm falling asleep, no video content. If it's on, I'm playing appropriate music for falling and staying asleep. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 good. 
that's good. But uh, from what I what, what I've read is that like completely like separating, you know, TV like your bedroom is for sleeping. Any other activity in it like supposedly influences your uh, your sleep. Okay. Um Also, now I guess now I guess I want to disable all of this because they're going to start bringing me stuff. And in terms of what I'm going to take up there, I don't know if we have to worry about monsters or not. I don't think I'm going to be... Uh, you know what, we'll, maybe we'll take one radar. Uh, we got weapons in our hotbar and I don't really plan on disturbing the locals. Now that's more that's more of something that should go into the trash lot really. Okay, now I probably will want some assembly machines and solar panels and stuff. Maybe even an electric furnace, possibly some drills, I'm really not sure. Then solar panels and accumulators are a definite up there. And I can't take that with me because it weighs things. Um so that's when all of this stuff just has to go. Probably some chests would actually be handy. Now the constructor robots, they do actually need to come up with me because I use them. Uh, I think I can use 20 at a time. Now rails are supposedly going to be a part of this. Um, hmm. Hopefully I can just kind of like request stuff from, from home, from back here uh, and bring it along for the ride. So that looks that looks a little bit closer to what I'd actually want to take with me, right? That kind of stuff. Definitely want some more accumulators. Now we've got to deliver this cargo. One of these is an auto, so we go go to the other one. So, um, well, let's just click deliver. Let's get some of this stuff queued up. In fact, I'm going to turn off the automatic stuff for now. Once you get to the planet, how would you get back? I don't know. Even if you forget something and you are stranded without anything on Fulgura, you can build a rocket from scratch. Don't worry too much. Well, there you go. Now, I've never had a problem with falling asleep despite what I was doing just before. Blue light and all. I mean, if it works for you, whatever you're doing, then don't worry about it. But one, one of the things is uh, always to consider with how I'm feeling or whatever is relativity. So, you know, you, you could you could live an unhealthy lifestyle, but it would feel it would feel normal day to day. Because that would just be your normal. So it, it becomes relative. That's that's why it's useful to you know like look into self-help books or whatever and and try and get a a picture of what you could do different and then experiment and see see what works for you. Sometimes sometimes you try stuff and learn yeah that's not for me I'm fine. Okay. So it's going to take a few rockets to get the basics up there. Although I am sending, you know, a stack each time. Oh, also now we're now we haven't got any stockpiled rockets, so it's going to be a little on the slow side. I could possibly put down another speed beacon over here. So that means turning on this, unless I do another one, which is temporary. So we go to the beacon just ask for one and then we go to speed modules and just ask for two uh, possibly rebuild rebuild this one do I not have the beacon yet I'm still waiting on it right let's deliver some cargo
Okay, and then do that, and then delete our requests. And not in time. Not quite in time. Now it's ever so slightly faster. Tell you what improved my sleep having the extra hour when the clocks change. Should have that every day. Yeah, you know, maybe sometimes you just need to stay in bed for a little longer. Well, we can see from the rocket progress that this one's going to be ready first. I didn't know watching a few videos before bed as unhealthy. It's not like I'm eating cake and washing it down with a fifth of gin before bed. Well, the idea is that you're looking at blue light and you're you're engaging in like in an activity that is uh, disrupting your sort of brain's natural rhythm. Like there's all these chemicals and stuff in your brain. I think is it melatonin that you get in the evening? Um, or maybe that's the one you get in the day from looking at the sun. But basically, like if we didn't have all of this technology, we would be going through like a rhythm throughout the day. And so if you think of like ancient man, which is much of our evolution, the evening the amount of light around you would be dictated by the sun and then creating like a light source like fire. And fire is like a red light, it's not a blue light. And if you if you have access to, like I have a little lamp that I use that's quite dim and it's slightly like orangey. But if you ever have access to like a orangey red lamp and you put it on dimly in the evening, it will really help you wind down because you've got this sort of inbuilt uh, history of being near the campfire at night. Some people even find it um, easy to fall asleep to the sound of a fire. I've, I've experimented with it. I find it like fascinating, but also a little on the distracting side. Like, I, like I'm a little too focused on it. Like, oh, fire is is kind of my experience of it. Um, so yeah, so like. The idea is that if you recreate that environment more, you're going to have a better time falling to sleep because it's what your body's used to, you know? Just just imagine listening to loud music and, you know, in a club full of big screens, full of colour everywhere, and then trying to walk out of that environment and go straight to bed. Your mind's going to be, like, buzzing. I remember um, I, ha I had a day, a day out, like, last year where some just amazing stuff happened. And I was absolutely buzzing from it. And then on the way home, uh, I got control of the music in the car and I put on all of my favorite songs. And I, I just was not thinking about sleep when I got home. So after this amazing day out, right, I spent the evening just listening to all my favorite songs. I was like wildly excited. And then when I got home, I just realized, uh oh, I am not going to sleep. And like, I, I didn't actually sleep the whole night. I was just so wired up. And, and that's like, you know, now that, now that I've been through that, hopefully I'll remember that next time things like that happen again. But yeah, let's say you have like a big day out full of excitement and you do something similar, like you're, you're really like wiring your mind, you know, you're buzzing, you're thinking about all sorts of stuff, like looking back on the day. And it just, when your mind is in that kind of state, it's hard to go to sleep. If you have material for four produce three module, make them because the rockets take way less material to start. Oh, that's uh, that's a good tip actually. I've just recently unlocked those, so I can't even I can't even build that quickly because I just put everything away. That that'll go on the list maybe. Um, we do need to upgrade those anyway. I, I should be ready to go to space now, right? While we're waiting for a rocket, maybe I can squeeze a thing or two over here. I think what I need is, well, let's actually set the recipe. Then it'll be much easier to see what's going on. Oh, it's blue. <laughs> Blue's over there. Uh, I think I'll leave it then. Or, or I could pick some up and make them manually, right? Like if I had a bunch of those and then I got some blue chip. There's a lot of it over here. Right, now now I should be able to make... Oh, and I need red. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I need eight in total, right? Also, these take a while to craft, so I think I'll just craft one. <laughs> yeah, no, no, th this was this was not the right time to do this. Let's go put these things up here. Imagine having an exciting day. My life is totally vanilla, not even vanilla, too much sugar. <laughs> I mean, if you want to have an exciting day, you got to work for it sometimes, right? Like, you got to make plans, you got to communicate. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you might just be uh, living. Oh, what's... Hang on, what's... Trash slots or ammo slots. Only armor and guns. So, like, I'm not actually allowed to take the ammo, just the guns. That's a bit wild. I feel quite vulnerable now. Oh, look! <laughs> Hi! By the way, do I... Where's my inventory? When you play multiplayer, um, you have a little pipe it tool on your player. Also depends on what your definition of exciting slash vanilla is, says Bear. Yeah, I, I think it's important to... Um, to sort of introspect on who you are and what 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 you like and enjoy etc and not to fall into the trap of comparison and how other people are living and whatnot like you do you because i'm pretty sure most people will find what i do pretty boring <laughs> so i'm there i can't actually walk around on the platform i totally thought i'd be able to huh so what happens when i go back to the planet now i'm just looking around if i press escape i come back here if i press escape again Right, so I'm sort of stuck in the uh, satellite view. That's curious. Now, the thing that I need to do next is travel somewhere. Here we go. So we want to go to Fulgora. Um, and I don't think I need to... Oh, what's this? Allow unloading cargo at this stop. I feel like that might be a mistake to do it straight away. But all that stuff that we just ordered is in here to help us get started. I think we're just going to go there. Right, and now the thrust has come on. And this is where we get to see the big asteroids and find out if we did a good job with this platform or not. This is also when I thought it might be smart to uh, get a little more iron. Uh, that's the wrong way around. Just because we're going to start shooting stuff, I believe. So what's that? Hey, we shot it. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. We're on a journey. Oh, look at that. That looked like iron ore. Now these things are going to... Look at that giant space ice junk. <laughs> so if we shoot this one up here, maybe we'll see some more... Some more ice come in. This, this makes me think that if you built like a wide platform with some evenly spaced out guns, you could potentially create... Um... Like a farm up here, you know? Like, really farm stuff. Now, I've just realized something very important. And possibly realized it too late. Uh, our stockpile here is throttled by the rate at which we can create it. And we are not creating it fast enough. And I don't really have a quick hotfix for that. So, this over here tells us how close we are to our destination. We may or may not make this journey. I don't know what our fate is now. I do know, though, that the ones in the middle get priority. So that's good. Like, look at that spread. That's always going to hit anything that's going to come in contact with our platform. So the layout here is quite fortunate. If I had have run the, the thing left to right, that could have been a big deal. So I think, I think we'll make it. But um, this right here is a little concerning. I can't juice them up there's no more room for adding in some extra here we're making all the iron we can and i'm even shipping it out of this main container to keep us on top of that but yeah this this could get a little intense i think we're slowing down we're definitely slowing down oh it looks like i'm not making enough fuel too too that's probably why we're slowing down yeah 
Oh, look, they just ran out. So it's quite dependent on... Oh, look at that. Like, we've, we've got ice. I can see ice on the platform, and we have water in the system. So, yeah, that was not scaled up enough. Right. But then we get a little boost. The speed goes up again. So the most of that journey was done by our stockpile of liquids here. Interesting. How much stuff is there to learn, right? Like, the next time I build a platform, it's going to be so much better. I have low power, apparently. Let's check power. I do. Is that because we've traveled further away from the sun? Oh my goodness me, that could really hurt us. Like, I think we're going to get there, but only just. We've really slowed down. Lots to learn, yeah, lots to learn indeed. Let's see if we can um, aid the situation a little bit. Is that it? I'm out of I'm out of platform. Oh dear. Also, that is that I can at least put that there. Yikes. And now we're stopping, so we made it. We just about made it. I don't know if this platform's good enough to make it back. Okay, we've ran out of ammunition, that's absolutely fine. We'll be okay. We have now stopped at the place. Right, and now there is this drop to a planet. Oh my god, this is crazy! This is crazy! Let's do it, let's do it. Uh, Fulgura. I'm gonna drop down. Wish me luck! This is a reckless mission. You will always get somewhere, even if everything breaks, you go towards the nearest planet at 10 kilometers per second. I guess, yeah, I guess you uh, retain some momentum, right? So you'll get there, it'll just be slow. Right, now, immediately it's going to teach us about lightning mechanics. Um, lightning rods protect a small area from lightning strikes and converts the energy into the electric network. Lightning generates a large amount of energy, therefore having more accumulators will allow better storage of energy. It can be later replaced by a more efficient lightning collector. Oh, lightning collector and lightning rod. Well, this is it. This is like playing Factorio all over again. That looks like Oh, that protects me here. Look. Okay, and we got an alert. That shouldn't be a problem now because we've parked ourselves out there. So we don't have to worry about them shooting, I believe. I also feel like I should have brought a radar. Um, okay, do I get any, like, what's this? Let's, let's break it on this alien planet. Let's just break this thing. Stone and helium ore. Is there something I can craft by hand? Like, I can craft a furnace. Then I would need a fuel. Uh, space stuff. Nothing new. How do we get going here, then? Am I supposed to venture out a little further? Because there's some big rock-looking stuff. Uh, maybe there's something down here to mine? That almost looks like some sort of patch. Also, the radar over here. What is that? That looks like some sort of crash site. Am I supposed to head away from this thing? Like, it's going to keep me alive, right? Helium ore. Yeah, that's what I called it. Am I completely wrong? Hol... Holum... Holm... Holmium ore. Holmium ore? And stone is all we've collected. Okay, that looks like the same... I think I'm going to... Oh, I think it's daytime now, right? Because these lightning strikes just slowed down. I can drop pod stuff down from space, apparently. Okay. What's this, though? Is this scrap? Okay, yeah, I understand. Wait, what's in... Can I open that, or do I mine the whole thing? And what is that little symbol? It looks like a lightning strike symbol. I guess that's telling me I'm lightning vulnerable. Yo, that's handy. That's... Get more of that. Get more of that. I can craft stuff now. I don't know how long we got, but I'm going to grab as much as this as I can. Yo, each one of these is like a win. Get all the wins. Oh, and then there's more? My goodness me. Let's take this big one and then maybe head back, because we don't know how long we got. But that's dope. 
That's a lot of stuff. Reminder, you can mine those things with bots. Yeah, maybe I should get my um, robotics things over here. Although I'm kind of tempted just to do this, like, from scratch. It feels kind of fun to... Oh! I am the lightning rod! Oh, did you see my uh, shield save me? Whew! I went to the wrong bit. Right, I'm going to guess I can probably craft another one of those out of the gate. But only just... Or maybe it's because I got a very small amount of stone brick. Now, I didn't get anything that resembles fuel, right? And I can't craft a power source for smelting. I don't even have an electric furnace. Um, now, scrap. What about a scrap recycler? Where does that appear? Oh, because if I get that, I could then really get going. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to try this from here, but I need I need the scrap recycler, right? There it is. But that requires some processing units. I'm not sure if I'm going to gather that stuff here. So tell me, chat, it, it, can I get started just fresh on the island, or do I need to send something down? Uh, Matty says starting from scratch is also very fun. Yeah, I definitely want to play from scratch, I think. Like, fun is what I want to have right now. You can hand make the scrap item. How would I hand make scrap? Let's have a look. I can, can't I? Oh! You're saying... Wait, I get it. I can make... No, 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 no. It's going to use those things to make that. Right, and I just did one. And then, what did it change? Oh, right. Okay, so I, I've for some reason I've misread what's going on here because stuff is flashing on the left hand side of the screen. Let's ignore that. We are taking the scrap that we've got and we are recycling it into our inventory right now. So let's go ahead and queue this up and just get through all of this scrap because now we're going to start to get components that we can use to craft other stuff. This is definitely the way to go. Now, do I want that machine first? Maybe. Um... The tech tree is all over the place here. I'm not seeing any iron ore come through. We need, we need to look at it again, actually. So we don't get iron. But we do get cogs. This thing wants cogs. I'm pretty sure you can make one of those out of that. So we probably want to go get a lightning rod and one of these right next to an area of lots of scrap. And then build an accumulator. Now that requires two iron plates. That's the thing I'm not sure how we're going to get. How do we get the iron plates? Am I, am I overlooking something? What about this? What is that used for? Can I all click that and see? Hmm. Let's go, let's go click on iron here and see... I mean, it says made from iron ore. It doesn't say there's casting iron. Interesting. All right, chat, I need your help again. Ready this, read the description of the recycler to get iron. Oh, look, I can make one. The recycler reverses most processes except smelting and chemistry, returning 25% of the ingredients on average. So I can put iron gears in it to get iron plates that's wild right i'm gonna go ahead and uh grab that as well so this thing in theory could be powered by that but we probably need a net like uh, a power network i'm guessing so we'll put this here and maybe that will power that probably only briefly Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get, right? So, if this thing can turn that back into iron, how do I give it some juice to get a battery, to get an accumulator? Tip, use offshore pumps. I cannot make an offshore pump yet. Maybe make a capacitor slash battery. Well, we're trying to get iron from that thing to make an accumulator. 
right? So I need the iron plate, which apparently I can get from this thing, but I don't, like, maybe I've got to send myself down some accumulators, which is okay, but I love the idea of just getting going from nothing here. Can you drop iron down from... Yeah, I could I could drop iron down from my ship. I, I'm trying to avoid that, I guess, is what I'm saying. You can recycle everything. Yeah, but recycling needs power. Wait, are you saying... No, what are you saying? I can't, I can't just... Where's iron on here? I can't just make that myself. I have to use the recycler to get it. Protect yourself from the lightning first to start storing energy to power. Well, I'm protecting myself by having this thing, right? Unless that's not the same structure that I crafted. Ah! Aha. Uh -huh. So maybe that's like just some... I, I can mine that. Interesting. So now I've created that. Let's go, let's go place it um, over here. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Fascinating. Okay, so that'll be my new protection. Hopefully that will actually charge the network and therefore this. It's, it's, by the way, it's also now got red. It went from yellow to red. So I think that means when we get lightning, this thing's going to do something. Yes! Sweet! Give me another lightning strike. Hey, I got enough. Right, now we need an accumulator. Oh my god, this is so much fun. This is so clever. Like, reusing the uh, the tech tree of the game to just give you new challenges is genius. Alright, um, put that there. Now that'll start to fill up with power. Right, we did say we might go do this in the other area, so we're close to scrap, right? So I can pick all this up and move it across. But now I get to put that stuff to recycle. Oh my god. Creating a whole whatever we're going to do here is going to be so different now. Oh, I'm stoked. This is this is awesome. This is awesome. Right. Got to rethink the whole game all of a sudden. What else do I want before I head over there? I'm thinking. What else do I want? Also, what about research? Is that still happening back at home? Like, what happens if I click here? Yeah, so I can go just look at what's going on back there. Um, I think I know what the issue is going to be. I don't think we have any science coming back down. Because the dirt platform is not above the planet. So if I could add another platform... I could continue science going. We might, we might get a little bit turned around there and have to build another platform because I think once we do a particular activity on this planet, it's not the... F is it that one? I don't think it's that one. Um, it's one of these related to Fulgura. What planet is that? Gleba? Uh, Fulgura... Okay, so we actually did that, and then we got... Okay, so that's our next thing, and if we look at this, none of it is actually based on science until we get to here. So once we get to this step, then we'll need to work on everything I just described. If I wanted to keep doing science in the meantime, I could go build a platform, but I'm enjoying this, so we'll stick with it. So we need to do holimium. Holimium sounds correct. Holimium ore next to create liquid and some sort of sheet and then an electromagnetic plant. Fascinating. Okay. Let's get back into it. This is so cool. This is so very cool. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to craft first. Also, um, it, it could turn back to night any moment now, so we won't, we won't rush this. Um, but we're going to head over there and try and build a little base setup thing. What, what did I just do? Oh, it just yoinked an offshore pump. Oh, we had a tip about that. Let's um, let's see if we can craft it then. Oh, we can. Offshore pump. Let's make it. Right. Also, I've still got some charge left over here. Now, it said it can undo a process. So, wouldn't steel then undo back into iron? Copper cables would undo into copper plates. Right, and it only stores... Wait, what happened there? Because I didn't get any copper plates. And we ran out of power. Hmm. Fascinating. 
Well, one thing I will want is more accumulators. Let's craft a couple more of those. Probably going to want some more power cables. Then I'm going to want stuff like inserters, but we're going to have to use the old ones. Going to need some belts. I'm fairly sure. We're going to need to start assembling stuff, right? But we've got to remember we're, we're low tech again, so we'll do all the uh, more air quotes primitive stuff. Alright, and then now it's night time again, we can start to recycle some stuff. Uh, maybe make another lightning tower as well. We need stone bricks for that. How do we get stone bricks then? With a, an electric furnace or... I don't have a source of... Actually, I do. Look, we get solid fuel. So if I create a stone furnace... Okay, that's going to go over here. I can put that in and smelt this stuff into stone bricks. That's crazy. Okay. Crazy. You can't undo smelting. Ah, okay. Oh, it did say that, didn't it? X, I do believe there's a primer in the Factoriopedia about each of the planets if you haven't looked at it yet. Uh, well, if I do that... Interesting. Uh, appears on that planet. So, like, here we go. Is this what you were talking about? I have read this. It's just that, like, I, I, I learn more by doing. Like, the way I'll remember something is if I've done it. So I'm not really going to remember that the oceans are full of oil until I, like, extract that. And then it becomes more... Oh, okay. That's, that's useful information. This is all starting to make a lot more sense now. And there's different asteroids around the outside of it. So that space platform could be adapted to have some extra bits to it. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot express how awesome this is. Okay, right, it's time for us to go, isn't it? Let's grab it all. I'm going to leave that there. We don't need to rip that apart. Yeah, I, like, this just feels so great. I've loved this game for such a long time, held off from playing it because I've just been focused on Minecraft and other stuff. And then this feels like it's a great time to get back into this game because... That they're killing it. Um, these things need to be kind of like spaced out, I think. Let's go ahead and try and use up the edges of this space for uh, power, power storage and stuff. Wait, I don't want to do that. I don't have my robots. Yeah, they've done. They're just, this is just so, so interesting and intriguing so far. Now, this scrap stuff, look, I mine it like that. I'm pretty sure that means that an electric miner drill would be useful here. So if we have to reverse engineer that, we need uh, electric circuits and iron plates. Let's go grab our scrap recycler thing. Might be useful to get a chest here as well. Okay. Also might be useful to take advantage of these hot bars and have them like per planet. Uh, I can't seem to queue that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, right, so if we took reds and put them into here, that should give us green circuits. Here we go. Yep, there we go. So that's how we get green circuits. Let and plastic. Wow, what a weird way to do stuff. And we wanted the electric miner drill. Uh, that was part of the process. The other part is to get some iron. Wild! And I actually need some of those cogs. <laughs> uh, I, guess, I guess it'll craft them now, won't it? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Right, so... Put that there. All right, that's going to need power. That makes a lot of sense. And then that scrap we want to feed probably into one of those. I mean, it depends on what we get, really. Need to need to think about how to manage these items and stuff too. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, we get scrap. Yeah, yeah. And then the scrap needs to be crafted. So what happens if I put scrap in here? Does it act like... Uh... Yeah, so we don't need an assembler to do the scrap thing. And now we've got all of this over here. So our production line is going to be this stuff into those. And then we need to decide how we balance these to achieve other goals. And I, I have a feeling we'll probably want to stockpile some of this. So perhaps we can make a system where we split everything that we get into two places. Which, saying that out loud sounds a bit crazy. Like, putting all of these things onto their own individual belts could get quite messy and complicated and take up a lot of space. So we could sushi belt it. And have it so that you always keep a certain amount of these on each one or something. Very interesting. Very interesting. Right, but, uh, you know, in order to do any of that, we're definitely going to need more of these. So we need to scale this up, which means we're going to want to take those cogs and turn them back into iron again. Go ahead and put that there. I'm liking this music as well. I think my favourite planet so far has been Gleba, but Fulgore is a very close second for me, says Dank Shamwell. Well, this is my first planet, so um, I'm having a blast, and it's just it's super intriguing right now. When I when I visit some more, I'll uh, I'll be able to say more on the matter. Right, uh, we also need batteries and iron over here. But more batteries than that. Okay, where are my where are my bits of scrap at? Oh, sorry, what am I on about? Uh, those things. Forty cogs. Yeah, I'm a bit bit slow on the uptake with this, aren't I? Can I put more than that in there? No. But I've got those iron plates. It's just the cogs. We also haven't done anything with this holium ore yet, but we're still we're still figuring out how to get these resources and stuff together. Okay. Any more batteries? Yep. Still not enough. Should have enough by now, shouldn't I? Wait. Did I do that the wrong way around or something? Hmm. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just get this going. I'm Try, trying to think a little too far ahead. Take some of that back. Get a... Uh, now, I remember crafting them. There they are. Get one of those. So this is where we might want to start to put stuff on our hotbar. That might be handy. Well, the scrap is flowing in now. That's good. I think I'm just going to whiz everything here into my inventory. Uh, that way we can better see what's available anytime. Let's check the power network. So, accumulated charge is pretty good for now. The, the day-night cycle is definitely shorter over here. Ah, look at that. So, it's going to last that sort of length. Um, looks like it's about three minutes. So that was 2.2 minutes ago. So we're gonna we're gonna potentially run out. So we definitely need more of these soon. And we desperately want to scale this whole creation thing up. So we'll get another one of these going. But yeah, that seems to be our priority right now. Would be scaling this up while scaling up accumulators. And we need to make iron. What about iron iron sticks? That that could be reversed, couldn't it? I think that could be reversed. Um, so we'll put we'll put all of that in there. You can see how long the day-night cycle is on Factoriopedia. Uh, day-night three minutes. That is what it appeared to be. There you go, iron plates. Beautiful. There's so much stuff in this game now. I feel like it'd be nice to almost have like uh, your own little tab here where you've like bookmarked stuff you're trying to do because I keep 
seem to keep be like exploring all of these items, looking for something a lot of the time. Oh, we got one. We got an extra one. Start to charge that up. And I want to get another one of those pretty soon. Concrete and iron gears. Let's put that in there. Yeah, it takes a few of those rods to get like a couple of iron plates, it seems. Some scrap in there. Now, if I want to get copper plates, can I recycle that? I can. And... Is that like... No? That Oh, no. Yeah, you do eventually get some. Okay. Let's go back to accumulators. And... I also want... See what I mean again? Like, I'm terrible at this. It's right there. It's just, it's just one below it. My brain never remembers. Uh, let's go ahead and extend this area. Some nice coverage and put another one of these. Oh, there's something there. Oh yeah, there's still a bunch of extra stuff to pick up to get going. All right, there we go. I think I'll go back to the uh, sushi belt idea as well. Right, let's um, let's go. Yeah, we've got to mine up more of this. Oh, look at that! It's going to give us a big jump start. Can I put in more inserters? Oh, the inserters might be throttling it. But then if they are, you got to remember that we've only got so much power at the moment. We're going to run out of power. So I don't think getting the speed efficiency in order is that big of a deal. Is that scrap? That's scrap. Which I have a lot of now. All right, so we need something to hit that lightning rod. Maybe having more of those might help us get the charge up. Let's, yeah, let's just throw... Some of that at it. So again, like putting something like that down here and that... Oh, I can't... Can't middle click it. Um, putting things related to this island down here might be quite kind of smart. I could then also ghost it, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean it gets crafted eventually. Alright, um, so we want to cover this whole spot. Put one there. Am I out? Come on, now's the time to get the charge. Okay, next one down here somewhere. Not bad, not bad. So those uh, those buildings will get the icon too. These uh, electric poles, if they're outside of the protective area. Yeah, we'll go one here. Is it me or do they sort of? Yeah, they sort of group together a little bit. That's interesting. Uh, one over there. I need to go place that, don't I? Okay, and then across here. And uh, down. Alright, so how much power we got in the in the system now is what we want to know. Like, if we look over the last 10 minutes, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Hopefully what we'll see, though, is it all gets charged up quicker. All right, I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? So now it goes over here. Nice. Uh, let's take contents of that. 
Right, and then we want to make more of them. Except it's kind of slow to make them because processing units and concrete. Hmm. Let's get another steel chest. Another inserter. And um, give it some scrap. I'm noticing now, though, that we're going to need more electric miner drills. Uh, those are there. So that's where we need to recycle red into green. So let's put half of those in there. And then we start to get some of the stuff we might need for it. Iron plates means... Uh, let's go with those cogs. I reckon what it what might work here is if we can if we can monitor the contents of all the items we have, that we then allow allow certain processes to work based on what's in the system. Like when we run low on iron, we 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 call it from iron gears, something along those lines think might be uh, something that works okay so we want that and we want more of those now that 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 sounded like we ran out of power quickly now look at this so you can see the little strikes are quite frequent at the moment and i just don't know if this works or not really i think it probably should have been a bit more obvious Oh, I can't place off of this area here. That's good to know. All right. Now what are we going to do? We need more of these. Here we go. And that's got three of them running. So I think our next priority is going to be the accumulators. It is currently daytime and the charge is going down. Uh, that means that we are going to need... Let's pick all of this up. Probably more iron plates again. Yeah, going to run out of those quickly, it looks like. And that's it. That's all we can do. So, one, two, three... And then that will last a little longer. I think now we're in the stage where we're going to start planning uh, the bigger picture, right? While we go through this process of just increasing the amount of accumulators. That seems to be the thing. Uh, thanks. Can you also make your space station nuclear? Uh, possibly. I guess if you build nuclear power on it, then it would have nuclear power. The Q key is a pipette, like middle click in Minecraft. Oh yeah, I've been using that plenty. Oh, apparently I've still got more. How quickly do they charge as well? That looks pretty significant. Let's get another lightning strike. Bam, there it goes. Not quite to the maximum. Oh, that's because we've got a new maximum. Oh, here we go. Now we can see what's going on. The lightning's really kicking off. And the mega jewels are filling up. And then we're close to max. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, I think if we zoom out... So one hit there. See, I don't know. I don't. If that that's. I think this answers my question. You see, there's ones over here. Clearly, we could capture those. So we got one down here, being captured. That looks quite far away from the one at the top. So I think by spreading it out, you are capturing more lightning. So the more of these rods, the more power. It seems it's not like the game generates one strike and it finds the lightning rod. I think it's generating them across the terrain. Which would make sense. That would probably be uh, your intuition, right? We could also put down a solar pan up panel and have power in the day. But uh, I think we're going to stick with our strategy of accumulators. All right. So we take more stuff and then we're going to be putting that in there. And we just need to keep amping this up and crafting more and more accumulators so that this process can run further through the day. 
cool right let's switch to standing i've been sat for the beginning of this stream it's not the maximum because each accumulator can only charge 300 kilowatts if i remember the value correctly lightning have a loot of power a loot of power a lot of power a loot of power do they have right um let's go just keep plopping more down i think except you're sort of out of the power network that we started here or were you no it was just that it's daytime all right and you're out of charge okay um so after doing that you would Ooh, what did i just craft cancel it oh i just wasted a bunch of iron no wait did i cancel it i think i cancelled it thank goodness um right so the cycle will continue with us wanting recyclers and miners and again every single time it feels like iron is just the throttling thing and we're starting to accumulate a lot of other materials is there another way i should be trying to get iron here or is that like is that have i correctly identified our uh, our bottleneck here i'm wondering oh we're getting a lot of iron now aren't we uh what do you want a, a boatload of iron this time i like that these machines are really fast that's that's kind of gratifying oh that just gave me a ton of stuff Okay, keep picking it all up. So now we can do another one of these. We'll go over here. Do that. Uh, let's make sure we've got a steel chest. It's. I just noticed it's crafting iron cogs to make that, which is really weird. I'm not balancing the, the right amount of them in my inventory, basically. It's probably quite wasteful as well. Okay, we seem to actually be keeping on top of the amount of scrap we're producing. So we probably are in need of more um, recyclers, right? And notice that that's cogs. So this time, rather than recycle all of it, we've probably accumulated a fair amount of clogs. And now we can craft another. Put that there. Then we need another chest. And we've really ramped things up. We have ramped things up, but storage is going to be a concern before long. Right, how about accumulators? Four, we definitely want to put those in. And I've still got the means for more minor drills. I think we'll just throw in the one like that. Does this scrap ever run out as well? Mining time 50%, amount 98,000. Whew! And there's a big mining drill. Dang. Looking forward to unlocking that. All right, we're in a we're in a good situation. I'm actually going to let things run in the game for a minute because I need to nip to the toilet. I stood up, and you know how the body works. Um, if you've never heard my music, go check out Soul Side Eclipse. In the meantime, I'm going to nip to the loo. I'll be gone for like less than a minute, and then we'll continue with Space Age when I get back.
Alrighty, I'm back. I told you I wouldn't be long. Um, so now some more of this is accumulated. I like that I can stand here and just pinch them all out like that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Well, we're gonna we're gonna want to start making stuff soon. I think iron, however, is gonna be a big one for uh, for our accumulators. So let's let's get on top of that while we think about what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna have these things go into those. That's really straightforward. But then how do we how do we deal with the output i think stuff can like back up into here which could stop it from running at some point so somewhere on our system i think we're going to need like overflow storage and then we're going to need something that reads the contents and decides to create more of another thing and put it on our sushi belt so then we're just going to have all of these ingredients floating around on sushi belts and then processing them later on um I don't think we're going to use a crazy amount of this scrap. So like building over the top of it might not be too bad. But it would make sense to perhaps use this top area. Um, to, to, to build whatever this thing is going to be. Yeah. And so I think I'll build a small bit of it. And then start to try and elaborate. I did say I wanted to put more accumulators down. Let's check the power network right now. Uh, so over the last 10 minutes... We do actually run out of charge, so we probably need more accumulators. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, and hopefully that will uh, settle that matter for the time being. Well, I also don't have more power poles, so I need a bunch of those. Oh, and they require iron rods, which we have been getting from some of the scrap. There is a thing in the way. You can put anything into recyclers. If you try recycling stuff like iron plates, you can effectively void them. They help me with overflow, says Manny. Great suggestion. Great suggestion. I like it. Yeah, that could end up being super helpful. Okay. Uh, still haven't got our uh, cable stuff in. All right. I only, only paused for a moment. But we are going to expand. one over there all right that should store a lot of power for now okay next thing we're gonna want a bunch of those and I already have uh, a couple of those ready but we'll sort of set up uh, the next line so that means now now I'm gonna start using belts this is where we're gonna start running out of stuff I know it so again, go pick everything up. And then how many belts can I make? None, because it's the iron plates. Iron plates and cogs. So it wouldn't make sense to recycle some cogs we're about to use, right? Okay, then we're going to take that. Basically build nothing but those. Okay, um, mm -hmm. see I'm, I'm not entirely sure how much assembly space I'm going to need here and where, where the assembly stuff is going to end up going. Like what happens when I run out of space here because I can't build in that area. We then need to move things downwards. So I can't help but feel uh, actually being close to where these accumulators is probably the best spot to be. Uh, which kind of means maybe we're going to actually end up using... Uh, some of this for now. Yeah, okay, okay. Can I can I make those? No, you want electronic circuits. We're going to have to recycle a bunch of this. Rails are your friends, says Maddie. Oh, I hadn't even thought about making rails. Well, we're, we're going to get close to that soon, right? We're going to get close to making stuff. Oh, I also need iron plates again, so um, that'll do. And there you go, there's some of the stuff we need. I just wanted uh, one of those. Right, so yeah, rails. And do, do I have the stuff to make trains here? That's wild. If you, 
If you take a closer look at all the scrap, we'll probably find out that we do. All right, so that is going to be where we have our array of these things. We will be able to fit quite a few vertically and then quite a few more downwards if we so need to. And then accumulators are going to continue to build on this space over here. I'll uh, keep working on that. Now, currently, uh, I have built this wrong. They don't automatically just take stuff in, do they? Let's go. So I could do a few more of those. I think we need to keep on top of the amount of these things. There you go. Now, this is where our sushi belt begins. Dude, the music is... Uh, I'm liking it. Oh, wait, no, 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 we're good, we're good. So the sushi belt is going to... We're going to read all the contents of what's here. Dude, this is a creepy song. And then this thing's going to go all around the place. It's all the different things that we need. So... Hmm... Like, we're outputting whatever we like. If we go look at a chest, all of this stuff is just going straight out. Now, if I wanted to have an intermediary that stores some of this, then these things, like... If I'm not mistaken, you can't you can't just change... There is this set of filters, but I don't really understand it. Um, I don't think there's a way for us to, like, can decide what's on the belt from the storage. The storage has to be on the belt. The issue that I was thinking is that when you have too much of a thing on the belt, you then want to get rid of some of it. That might be the approach we have to take, is to take stuff off the belt when there's too much of that thing. It could be quite difficult, therefore, to balance what's coming out of here. So I, I am wondering, is there actually a ways in which we can, like I said with that set filters thing, if that turns out to actually be like kind of easy to use, having a very smart burner thing between these two could be pretty darn useful. Uh, but I wouldn't know, like... Sets the filters based on the signals of the circuit network. So it, it understands what's inside of it and it's picked five of them, which doesn't cover all of them. So that is probably not what we want. Yeah, I think I think what I described was the way it's going to work. Um, you're going to have to scrap stuff off of the belt when there's too much of it. So that, that involves an area where, with more of these. Crazy, okay. We'll, uh, we'll start getting more of those together then. That is outside the area of protection, I think is what it's telling us. And there ain't a lot of that. Mind that thing, get that out of the way, and that. Right. Hmm. I'm gonna want. I'm, I'm gonna want to use. I think this is gonna have to go onto these network of poles that we've got. Then we're gonna have to set this to read all of the belt's contents consistently. That's fine. Um, also, the next one of these is like right in your way. No, that's wrong. So now, now when we look at this and we hold down shift uh, or that one, there you go. We can see the contents on on the belt. Now, one other thing that would be handy to know is how many items fit on each and every belt. Well, we got we're only using half a belt. I think it's quite difficult to use both sides of the belt because one of these will disrupt 
uh, our, our counting of what's on the belt, if I'm not mistaken. Eight items per belt, four items per side. Okay, so like each one is four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So eighty. But then, then we got to think about what comes out of there and the different ratios. So if we go look at scrap, it's possible that we could math this based on the likelihood of something come out so that we keep like a relative amount um that's probably going to involve having a calculator somewhere it might be possible to do that with one of these hmm like you could maybe look at the belt and produce a number that says like is there 20 percent of this thing on there is there one percent of that not sure if that's the useful way to do it though. Luna Cupcake, welcome to the stream. House Factorio, uh, brilliantly puzzling right now. I, I could charge like full steam ahead and just kind of wing it a bit with everything that comes after here, but I'm really trying to think it through. It, it's it's kind of difficult because I haven't done this before and I'm not fully sure what the, the whole system is going to end up being like in the long run, I guess. But we're trying to we're trying to get our head around it now. I think I think I'm gonna have to wing it a bit and just individualize the amounts to some extent. Hmm, but I am now I'm very curious if it would be possible to use like the signal logic network stuff to create a percentage. Chat, if you've got any ideas on on that, feel free to jump in and suggest. It'll be most welcome. I've also got to think about what stuff am I crafting here? What's the end goal again? Like, am I am I actually going to make like a a rocket silo on this planet to get back off one of these? I guess. I think most of the stuff there is possible. You can get lubricant for the engine uh, from heavy oil. I think it isn't the ocean heavy oil, so. I think everything we need is possible right there. Get the amount of X, divide by the total time. It, 100 is your percentage. Yeah. I don't know what you mean by total time. Total length of the belt, right? I didn't bother with trying to keep amounts of stuff. I just let it all flow and avoided excesses. That's, that's what I'm trying to do, though. Avoid ex excesses. So... Uh, maybe maybe we just wing it a bit. Maybe we just wing it a bit. Um, instead of percentages, you can also decide to keep, for example, 30 blue circuits in the loop, 30 red circuits, and so on. Ah, yes. And I know how to execute on that because we'll just be using these things again. So for every item that's on here, we can have one that scraps it if we end up with too much. Um... Sometimes that will produce other items that go back on the belt though, right? You can use filters to skim stuff off a belt if it's full and then send it to a recycler loop. Interesting. Is that like a death loop of the item? Um, hmm, okay. Thanks for the help, chat. These are interesting ideas. Let's go ahead and put that there so that that just needs like a an input now we're talking about putting something in that's come out of the system uh let's let's look at something we've got a, like we've accumulated a lot of uh i also need like a chest then don't i and i also now need more of these Okay, so we're going to put that there. Uh, we get a lot of this stuff. So what happens when it goes into here? It's being recycled. I don't know what it's going to get recycled into. Itself. Interesting. Let's now stop putting more in. It does look like it's slowly reducing the amount. So now there's four on there. 
So like when we have too many of a particular item on the belt, we can send it into this looped network to destroy it. Now, I want to experiment with like what happens with some of this other stuff. Are we going to see any unique items come out of here? It's it appears to be recycling itself. Yeah, and then it gets rid of it. Okay, so we've got a way to void items when we have too many of them. But uh, I have a feeling it might not be the same for all type of item, right? Like, what's happening with steel here? Steel takes a little longer, steel comes back out again. What one isn't going to... Like, we know, we know like, uh, a... these circuits will not produce themselves. I guess anything that comes into here eventually dies. Okay, let's experiment. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever. So that's going to produce different items like plastic, but then plastic is also going to be destroyed. So we will probably want something somewhere that takes red circuits to create green and plastic, but then when we put it onto this setup, we are actually voiding anything that ends up in here. So that's our way to like deal with excess. So we're going to need like a master belt. We're going to take stuff off of that to create other stuff. Then we're going to have uh, an interruption that says if there's so many red circuits, we're going to recycle them so that we can get plastic and green on that belt. And then we're going to have something for both red, plastic and green that says there's too much of that stuff. Let's go and delete it. Luna says, sorry, I can't help. Not played before. Just find the whole game concept fascinating. It is a fascinating game. And no worries at all. Thanks for tuning in and just hanging out. You can put two recyclers facing into each other. Oh, uh, that's an interesting idea. So that's a quicker way to just kill it off, right? So if we want to kill something, we... Let's take that. We just go like this. We go, I don't want any more of that. And then it gets destroyed over here. Okay, that's our new death... Okay, we're not going to have a death loop. We're going to have that as our way to avoid things that we don't want. Very, very interesting. I think I'm going to run this belt around the outside of the whole area. I think that's the way to ensure that it's going to be big. Right, that means we need more lightning rods, though. Uh, so we stone brick is what we're struggling with. Didn't I set up a furnace somewhere? I think I did, and then I took it down. Okay, so we'll come over here. Let's get another one, actually. Let's get two. So this is going to be part of our processing. Like, we're going to use this solid fuel here. And then we're also going to be putting in uh, stone. To, like, make stone bricks. Fascinating. Fascinating. This is so cool. I have been watching others that are farther along and plan on buying the DLC next paycheck, says Koiti. It seems like value for money, if you ask me. I, uh, I I brought myself a copy. I didn't even ask. I didn't even send out an email. <laughs> like, uh, sometimes I do that with uh, a fair few games, actually, because a lot of stuff I just stream, I check out, play it once or twice, and and then I'm good. Whereas with this game, I was just like, uh, you know, Factorio's been amazing for years. I'm just going to buy myself a copy. I'm not even going to, you know, give it the old... I make streams and videos. Can I have a free copy? <laughs> Uh, the DLC has more content for the base game. Uh, it doesn't actually. It's Factorio 2.0 uh, adds adds tons of stuff to the base game. This is this is the expansion built on top of Factorio 2.0. Right. Um, it kind of looks like there's a way to walk down there. Yep. Right, and there's stuff in the way. Interesting. Now, if you're wondering, like, uh, is that necessary? Uh, my, my thought process is space. Like, let's maximize, but also let's make our belt big. Is kind of what I'm thinking there. Right, we might now have a crazy amount of stuff in our inventory. We do. We do. Time is going to help us scale up here. Okay, so in order to get some iron, 
We'll chuck in a whole bunch of that. And now we can start to make more of these. All right, I'm I'm really glad we didn't send stuff down from the rocket. Like if I want to do more challenges that this game is going to throw at me in the future, I could definitely see myself um, taking advantage of that. But for our first attempt, this has been wonderful. Okay, go down. Okay, now we need another lightning rod. that in line I think it is we'll have no trouble filling up those accumulators will we got to kind of like try and suss out where the edges are yeah there you go another one I think I'll just do this diagonal to the edge Is there one more? There is. Also, we've got to keep in mind that at some points we might want this thing to like flow into the middle and back out again. Uh, but we can we can make those changes later. Don't think we have to worry about it right now. That's the thing that can go. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh, building these uh, diagonal ones are a bit annoying. I'll admit. Can I? Can I like speed this up with some sort of technique like this? It looks like I can actually. Where, where do we come back in again? Uh, sort of in line. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna literally gonna go through the middle of the scrap pile because I don't think we need to utilize all of it. And if we do, we can we can use some underground belts to shimmy stuff across. Okay, so we're gonna be I'm gonna get dismantle this now. Uh, that looks like a oh that's a scrap pile. That's fine. Yeah, that goes onto there. Uh, right. Pick up some stuff again. And drop some of these into here. Okay, we now want more of that. I think we're just making belts, right? Continuing to work on that. This might be massive overkill, by the way. I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to plan ahead and give ourselves lots of space. Also, trains might end up being rather important here, but we'll we'll find out with time. Okay, I think I think that's going to be more than enough. Uh, don't actually want that. Although I will want one if we're going to take advantage of these over here. Oh look, we were never using those two. Terrific. Okay, and then yeah, we're just gonna do that because we'll we'll need a little corner of space if we're gonna put something down here. All right, there we go. We got a crazy, crazy sushi belt. If you're wondering why there's um, like the same item coming out in big droves, it's because they would have accumulated in here and then all gotten taken out at the same time. So that's why that looks like that. Now, I think the next thing for us to put in is the deletion stuff. So we're going to be able to look at our network here and we're going to see everything that's on there. 
Um, and then we get to set some numbers, kind of based on this situation right here where it's stuck, which isn't so great because, well, there's not a crazy amount of stuff left behind. So I think we could probably work with the numbers that it's given us for now. Um, we can look at those like they're the values that we need to change. Um, so we're going to want all of our assembly stuff in the middle here and our deletion stuff we'll put down at the bottom. That's going to... Oh! How did that happen? Uh, inter interesting. Stuff's been hitting it on this side over here. I assumed asteroids only came from the front. That is really concerning because I'm not in a position to make any changes over here. Chat. Uh... Bigger asteroids can also come from the side, says Maddie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, hmm. I, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of wiggle room. I don't think I've got a crazy... Eh, you know what? See, I can't request these because we're not on the right planet. I do have... I do have some belts. So, if there was a way to finagle some iron ore... Ooh... Uh, actually, I'd need to finagle this, right? So, oh, do you know what? It kind of... It's a shame this is destroyed because it kind of looks like there might have been a bit of wiggle room there. Why did I not get a notification when all of this stuff... Or maybe that's actually the damage that it did, like, literally just now. Huh. Yeah, let's get rid of some of these requesty bits here. Um, but we'll leave that, and then I guess... So they're not there. I could have run a, a belt thing through there. I could run one if I take away some solar power. And I... Oh, look, I've been hit. Oh, my God, there you go. Look. Oh, I've been hit on this side, too. Why was I not informed? That's taken some damage. we got to solve this problem. Um, yikes. There's not a lot of space, and I don't want to start sacrificing solar panels, particularly. There is, there is a line here. But then, oh, it's not quite... Ah, I can just about shimmy something in here. Okay, so what we want is gun turret in this spot here. Just there. Then we're going to want an inserter. And now we're going to want... Ooh, from there to there... Might get lucky with this. Okay, so that is going to be... F Ugh, look at this. It's not good. I guess maybe we don't need, like, that one there. Now, I don't know if I have splitters up here. I do, thank goodness. Uh, I guess I have to use this system to build, right? So... Uh, that's not particularly helpful either. Actually, no, this will work. This will work. Because I can do that. Now we should get ammunition. But we ain't getting ammunition because it's on the wrong side of the belt. Uh, is that going to do the trick? Just about. Oh, that is some very janky solution right there. Now, this thing should get ammunition. Hey, presto, we're covering that corner. Now, we've got to do the same thing on the opposite side. Fortunately, again, we have a similar little bit of space. Uh, I think I'm going to remove that and put our gun turret down here. Uh, which one did we remove? That one. So, we'll have this thing just over here, which should make it nice and easy. Okay, but we want to be quick here. I'm going to have that to take the ammunition. Uh, can we do things slightly better this time? I don't like that I'm hearing the guns shooting off. It scares me. Right, let's get our underground belt type and go like that. Down to here. Is there ammunition on there? There is, thank goodness. Right, and that means now this corner is hopefully protected. 
Well, that was a little bit wild. Um, but I think we're okay. Right, can we get back to Fulgora? Thank you. Whew, okay. Okay, so where were we? We were about to build the delete thing, I think was the idea. So we're going to go put that down in this area, I think. And let's also pick up... Oh, wait. I'm kind of, like, in the wrong view. All right. Um, we're going to come over here. I think what I need to do is write these numbers down, possibly. Or do a little bit of math. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually... I think I want to write those numbers down. Otherwise, it's going to be tricky. Let's get this uh, on the other screen. Which means I have to continuously tab back and forth. So, like, blue is at 24. There might be some here that I want to prioritize to have more on. Like, so let's say we're going to keep blue at 30. Uh, we're going to give each of these a number. Red at 50. Although there will be other things joining it, and I'm going to try and get them on the other side of the belt. Uh, steel at 40. Copper at whatever that was. Copper wire. Uh, we'll go 30. Uh, then we have, let's put ice at 50. Is it stone bricks or is it concrete? At, I can't even remember what it was. Uh, ice 50. That is concrete. We'll put that at 60. If I, I, I'm probably going to adjust these a bit more because some of them probably don't really need to be that high. Stone at 50. Yeah, like maybe 50 just being a general cap. Um, solid fuel. 70. Is what we got. Uh, iron cog. We'll put that at like 250. Okay. Um, so what haven't I put? Batteries I didn't put down. We'll put those at 50. And then we got low density at 15 and the holium at 13. So those ones I'm gonna I'm gonna jack up to like 30 each. Okay, um, solid fuel, I'm going to bump down to 50. I'm going to put concrete down at 50. And then maybe steel or blue. I think blue should be bumped up to about 50. Okay, right, so I've got a bunch of values that we're going to experiment with. These are all going to get recycled into oblivion, is the idea. So we're, we're kind of in this state of picking up resources, which technically aren't infinite, I'll point out. Uh, and now we're going to need... Hmm... Can I get rid of that? We're going to need... Not a crazy amount. This might need to get scaled up at some point. Yeah, that's where it usually goes, isn't it? There. Okay. Um, we're going we're gonna to need inserters. Right, and then we count these. So we're going to have... One... Okay, no, I'm going to have to set you up immediately. And you're going to need to be on the circuit network. Okay, okay, this is going to be interesting. So we're going to run that circuit network cable all the way up here. So it connects with the one that is measuring uh, the whole contents, which just happens to be up there. And now it makes more sense for it to be down here, but don't worry. This thing needs to be connected, so we'll go and hook you up. Then we need to give you a filter... Now, if I do set filters and then do that, does that just make it my life a little quicker in terms of setting it up? It does, because I can just now say, all right, that one's concrete. Then, then we want to enable disable based on the amount of concrete. So we find concrete here, and then we go to my numbers list. So concrete was going to be 50. Now, that should pick up concrete if there's more than 50 on there. The problem is there's no concrete coming around right now. I'm also, now I'm a little concerned. Like, if this thing fills up, it, it it really slows down. In fact, it just grinded to a halt. The whole belt just grinded to a halt. 
That's, I mean, before it slowed down, now it's actually stopped. That's a big problem, right? I feel like it shouldn't have stopped, though. Did I mess up the connection somewhere? Okay. Can someone in chat tell me? This does not look good, but... Why did it stop? If you put a splitter somewhere, it'll keep going. The splitter will break my um, circuit count, though, won't it? Let's put a bunch of those in here. Uh, we'll put that thing down here. That does keep it moving and at normal speed, which is terrific. Now, I'm seeing concrete go past and it's not getting picked up. Let's check the contents. That we have 64, so I think I need to reverse that. So it's that way around. Now we have to wait for some of it to come by, which it is. Is that thing operating at optimal... Nut satisfaction is good. Okay, it's just the yellow, the yellow one, the speed of it. So those, that's been successfully destroyed. Brilliant. Now we're going to go ahead and do this here. By the way, I can rota change the rotation of these if it turns out to like not keep up. Uh, set filter. Oh, it's not connected. Okay, set filter. We'll go with... Go with stone next. So then stone is going to be... Uh, 50. Got to flip that. Put stone up here. This is kind of tedious, this bit. This is where I think the game could do with some nifty little tricks and controls to help you do this a little better. Right, so now we've got two things here getting recycled. So if I use this and do that, uh, now I've run out of those. That's not helpful. Let's try again. I don't think it... Does it copy the connection to the circuit network? Okay, that also didn't seem to... Is it because I'm doing both at the same time? No, it just... Hmm. That's not connected. make a connection except we need to change that now let's go for a uh, battery 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 might be one of those ones that recycles into something different actually that's another thought um, I think concrete just disappears stone disappears I think ice disappeared let's do ice Okay, so now ice under 50, which is the number I have for that. That's kind of handy. Concrete does not disappear. Oh, okay. But stone does, right? And ice does. So if we go back in... Oh, I've got to write that one down again. I'll, I'm going to guess the holium will disappear as well. So we go to our ores. Holium ore. I think what would be handy is if it's like, what's the last thing that you changed and you had a hotkey and you just hovered over and clicked on it and it could do that for you. Now that one's saying 10, but that's right. We want to we want to keep a larger amount of that. I set the number at 30 for that one. You should not void the holium. Holium is the entire reason you're here. Well, I'm doing it to balance the belt for now because otherwise we will end up with too much stuff on the belt and the belt will stop moving, right? It's, it's, an un, it's an unfortunate thing. But the idea is that when we get the other stuff going, what's happening here shouldn't really matter too much. Like, if we're using the Holium, this bit here doesn't matter. I mean, I could, if you're really concerned, I could stop the belt for now. And then nothing would get scrapped. Okay, so that's Holium. Um, we got low density, iron cogs. Iron cogs make steel. Sorry, uh, iron. 
Actually, I think everything else... Okay, everything else kind of looks like... Oh, solid fuel, solid fuel. That one we can do. That one will get voided. So we select that and we said 50. 5-0. Zero. Uh, switch that one around, which is this one correctly done? Okay, so for now... So for now that's good, sort of, I think. Uh, we didn't put concrete on there, we did put holium on there. So we've got like a whole bunch of other things to manage now. And these other ones we want to then put stuff back on the opposite side of the belt. For this, um, I'll, I'll do the same philosophy again. We're going to have two pointing into each other. No, no we're not, because um, that doesn't make any sense. I think what we're going to do is two at a time like this. Because if we need more speed later on, I can change stuff. Now, again, I think I'm using the circuit network here to say if there's like 30 or so of these, we want to... Ugh. It's funny how like you can picture it at one moment in time it all makes sense why is that why is that got that symbol there what is that even it's really easy to picture it this at one point in time and then you get stuck into doing it and it's like i don't know what's going on um we need that on there uh what happened here alerts oh my god Ran out of ammunition. Up there, that is because this one collects iron. And that means that we're probably running short on iron. So I think we're going to have to stop producing as much science up here now. In fact, I'm just going to stop the science production. Because it's not even making its way back down. Does that mean it's been... Yeah, it's been filling that up. So, right, now all of that iron should be... Once that fills up, it should be pretty much reserved for this. And then we should have enough ammunition to keep the asteroids away. Uh, but it's definitely not making its way to the right-hand side, is it? But there's plenty of ore to be smelted. Maybe having less of these might be helpful? I guess that a lot of it got pushed down to this one here. So the ones at the back have got a fair bit stockpiled. But yeah, we are running short on the ones up the front because it all got shifted. It all hangs in the balance, really, doesn't it? And these things are filling up for the journey back. Yikes. So much to learn all of the time. You accidentally tried upgrading the Serta. Oh, okay. Did I collect the green thing or something? Um, right, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm still on the right track with this stuff, believe it or not. It's just been kind of tricky uh, to manage. So for this one, we want to keep 50 on the belt. Uh, that's right. Go that way around and do it like that. So then if there's 50 on the belt, It'll start to get recycled, but our output's going to come this way. I, I don't know about that, though. It, it wants to put one out there. I, I kind of don't want it to do that. Um, maybe maybe I do need to use individual machines here. And would that help with the output? I, I definitely want an inserter because I want I want the output to be on the opposite side when, when this happens. So currently on the network, there isn't 50 blue, so blue will not get recycled. Now, I essentially want to do this again, but now with another material. And then I have to come back here for the things that come out of blue, which is ugh, just so much to get my head around. Um, I, I can't help but feel like there might be a different way here. It might be like not thinking about this correctly, you know? Let's have a look again. So we're going to get red and green out of blue exclusively, right? There's nothing else that goes into it. That's good. Okay. 
Uh, we're now actually getting some green circuits on there that have been recycled. That's good. Um, hmm. Again, knowing how many to keep on there, I guess it's something we can come back and adjust later on. So, that power pole is actually now kind of in the way of putting one here. Which is a bit annoying. Alright, you need to be connected. Oh wait, this is a deletion one. What do we get out of green? Does green need to be recycled? Oh my god, this is too complicated. Let's have a look. What will happens when we recycle green? We want both of those things. So no, green, green does not get deleted. Green does not get deleted. Green goes into one of these. Okay, now we want to enable and enable, um, use the filters, put it to the green one. Let's just go with an easy number and say 50. There's only one place we're setting these, so at least it makes it easy to come back and uh, look at those again. So there's more than 50 green, we recycle that. You first want to recycle into the useful stuff before the death loop. Currently the death route is before the useful stuff on the sushi belt. Uh, that's okay, because the stuff that we're recycling... Um, th these are done by numbers as well, so they'll always go into here first anyway, right? Because the numbers can just be lower. So that's fine. You didn't set which item to fill the, in the circuit of the last inserter. Oh yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, it also looks to me like we might run out of space. Like, I've actually gone and put this... Uh, kind of heading into all of this. So maybe what we'll do is we'll make our belt a little bit bigger now. Um, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna flip. Hmm. No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't want to change that just yet. Uh, I'm trying to picture it a little bit. I don't want to make it massively bigger right now. Although it's is always going to get bigger, right? So maybe that isn't a concern. Um, wow, now I need to craft a lot more of those. Okay. Let's say we go... Oh, and now I need to craft more of them. <laughs> oh, I could possibly use this side as well, right? Like, we can, we can use multiple things here. Ah. I don't know if it's a good idea to have one... Well, we'll play and find out. I, I could then just put a bunch here, right? Like that. So let's go ahead and... Cable these up. And then we want to go in there and just use the filters. For the next bunch of items that we're going to recycle. Uh, that's going to be... Right, we haven't done red yet, so let's go put red on here. Oh! Oh, can I not... Oh, I can do that. That is awesome. Right, uh, red I think we set at 50 as well. So 50 of red on the belt. We can come back and change that later on. Next one. Uh, again, using the things in my inventory. Super convenient. So we're going to want to recycle that into copper, right? Enable that, uh, flip this thing around, and set that to 50. Yes. 50 is just going to be our number for a while, I think. Okay, next one. Uh, we got steel. Doesn't steel get destroyed? You can't recycle steel, so steel goes to the other category. Copper wire is in our category over here. Iron cog. Iron cog next, because we're going to recycle that into iron plate. Uh, this will become something over here. Let's go ahead, swap that, change this to 50. Right, after iron cog must come battery. Let's put in the battery. There it is. I don't know what that breaks down into. If I'm making any mistakes, chat, let me know. It'll be most appreciated. 
Y'all know this stuff better than me. Okay. Like that. Um, do I watch Taskmaster? I've tried to get into it. It's not really been my, my kind of thing. Is what I'll say about that show. Uh, it's decent. It's decent. I like, you know, it entertains, but it's not exactly uh, something that enthralls me to watch more of. Uh, that's wrong. We need an inserter on the end of this. So here, I might even go ahead and use two inserters, because that might end up being quite important for speed. No, I don't have any more of those. And you belong just over there. So we'll change the whole of that. Just gonna, I'm going to keep my nice little grid for the whole thing. Now oh, that's in the way. Right, let's keep the sushi belt moving. So yeah, that green one I might move over here because uh, having two inserters taking out items might be a lot more useful. It seems to be going okay at the moment though, so we won't we won't change it just yet. All right. Um, now we've just done a whole bunch. I've got to make more. Just done a whole bunch of that stuff. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Use the filters on all of them. That's important. Right, what's next? So, gotta go through this list again. Concrete apparently recycles into something else. Let's go put concrete on here. Open that thing up. Uh, enable it. Put it over it. Da, 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 da. I haven't connected it yet. Okay, try again. Enable this over here. Swap that around. We're going to go for 50. That's our magic number. Okay, uh, low density structure. Swap it around. See, that's one of those ones I think would like. I'd actually want to be higher, but we're gonna. We're just gonna come back to these numbers later. We've done battery, we've done iron cog, um, we've done blue and red. We haven't done steel because steel needs to be destroyed. So steel would go down here. Uh, let's use the filters, enable, disable, steel, steel, swap it around. Uh, let's set that a little bit higher because there seems to be quite a lot of it on the belt. Okay, then... We are left with whatever comes out of these that I haven't done yet. Let's double check it. Concrete is on the list. Low density, battery iron cog, copper wire, steel, red, and blue. I no longer need my list of notes. The other thing we could do is plastic, and I think plastic will void itself. Um, but we'll put it here for now. So how much plastic is on the belt? Just 14. We'll set this to 50 and swap that around. Cool. And that's, that's kind of our setup for now. We can expand it if we want to, but in theory, that's doing that's doing the Lord's work right there. Okay, so we haven't got stone bricks. I believe stone bricks gets recycled into stone, and then stone would be voided. Iron ore has just appeared on here. How, did, how the heck we get iron ore? Which I'd probably end up scrapping, funny enough. Um, hmm. Right, we don't we don't have anything to recycle iron. We haven't got one for iron. Does iron break down into something different? You can't recycle smelting. Yeah, so so steel gets broken. Iron Yeah, we need one for iron and we need one for copper down here. Uh there and there. At least for that little bit. Uh, let's go grab those. Right. Uh, wait a minute. You can't actually put iron in there? Is that what that's telling me? Or did something else happen here? What's, what's gone wrong here? 
I think they might need... This is where they might need to have their own pairing instead of... Wait, was it was it the fact that I... Hang on, let's get rid of those. Was it the fact that Iron got in there that was the issue? What happens if I put in a, a little bit of Iron? No, it, it can destroy Iron. Why did that stop then? I think... I think, like... Both... Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. It wanted to put Iron in the opposite recycle, but it couldn't because the green circuits were already in the other one. Yeah, but like... Then... Surely, surely, because there's this space here, surely it goes and puts it here first, right? So, like, why did it lock up? It doesn't, it doesn't seem obvious to me that it would lock up. Right, anyway, I think I need to continue with this process of deciding how many items can be on the belt at one time, and that is for copper, plate, and uh, iron, I think. Those are the two next things to be filtered. Uh, we'll go. We'll go with a higher amount for both of these, I think. Uh, then we want iron. Put it over there. Right, and I think now. I think the only thing was stone bricks, maybe. Stone bricks might accumulate, but I wasn't sure if that would cycle down into regular ore. Uh, let's just go ahead and select this one as stone bricks. Enable. How many are in there? Seven. We'll go for 50. That is hopefully everything. Right. Now that the sushi belt is balanced, we have to decide what we want to produce off of this sushi belt. Um, so we will want to... We want to set up a mall for getting assemblers first of all right and then those assemblers need to make inserters and belts probably all right uh where's my assembler machine finally we, we slogged our way through that by the way that was that was kind of painful um so we're going to set up an assembler machine here i probably i probably want one for chests as well and then we've got to get a uh, inserter pointing this way. Then one on the other side to go into a chest. And then the next thing I'm going to make is chests. Uh huh. Uh, inserter. Inserter. Put this over here. So you are uh, going to make one stack, as will this one. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, I can't quite squeeze another one in there. Unless I move that. Does that work? Not really. That just is what it is. I don't think I can... Uh, nope, there's no extra tile there. Okay, that's fine. Let's come down to this spot. Remember, space is super important here. So now we want to make inserters. But inserters are made from... Oh, actually, no, they're made from everything on there. I was thinking of something different. So now we can take those things, put them over here. That goes into a chest, so we've got one stack there. Now I wish we had red belts. <laughs> now I really wish we had red belts. So all the things we need are on the belt, right? And they're getting picked up and they're getting used. It just, it might take a minute for the thing you want to come round. Is that something that can be mined? Yep. Okay. What else do we want? What have we been using? We've been using these copper cable things. So that's iron rods and steel plates. I and copper wires. All of those things will be on the belt. They will all be on the belt. Question is where are we going to put this thing? See, I might, I might now finagle the belt closer to all of this stuff. Uh, that looks like the best spot for it, so... Okay, I don't have any inserters, but now I can just grab them from there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that down. All the things are available for it. 
and do that. These are, of course, the components of uh, building our, our base. So yeah, next up will be belts, I think. Okay, take uh, take the belts from there. Put them into a chest. If I use that, it copies across the uh, the setting as well. Yeah. No, does it? All right. It wanted to put iron in the opposite recycle. It couldn't because green circuits are already there. Honestly, I have no idea about that at the moment. You still have iron ore to recycle. Yeah. Um, yes, I do. The, are these locked again? No, nope, they're not locked out. So that's working. That's working as intended. So I think what we'll do... Um... This, this turned out to be pretty reasonable, so that one there isn't doing a lot. That's exclusively for blue, so that's kind of inefficient. Um, so hitting them from the side like this is a lot better way to do it. That we can see. That is that is quite clear. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do it down here. Although then we'll be in the way of that. Be kind of inefficient. Um... I've got to have two pointing into each other. That's the important thing here. Yeah, I reckon I might want a little bit more here. So one, two, three. Yeah, so then we come across that space. So I can expand my options a touch. Uh, here, though, that one is actually going to be not as useful. Because we've got this in the way. Already, I'm feeling like this would be great if we could upgrade to red belts already. Okay, and then so on this side we add more of these things. I'm going to extend the network down to there. This thing is going to use filters and it's going to be iron ore. And once again we're going to go with 50. Swap that over. Grab the iron ore again. Right. Chat, leave some messages. Y'all have been quiet for a while. I know I'm not great at uh, replying to all your messages, but leave some. Let me know if you're understanding what's going on on the screen, if you're liking what's happening. Does it all make sense now? This big gap, by the way, is because we just messed around with the belt, so it's kind of all over the place. Um, we're playing hide and seek, says Bear. <laughs> what, from me? Or is this something I just don't understand? Let's start to expand a little bit. Oh, by the way, our accumulator charge is probably going to be a bit crazy. Um, let's go ahead, put another one here. Take things for the accumulator, right? Like, I started with the basics, but it, this the way we're playing, that's a basic too. Uh, huh. We've got, a, we've got a power issue somewhere. That's where you want to go. That's where you'll go. Don't really need this space like that anymore, do we? Right, and I might want to start unloading some stuff from my inventory. You know? So that it can sit inside of these and be useful, because it's not particularly useful in my inventory. I don't know what we're going to use ice for, probably for making some sort of liquid. Uh, I'm understanding perfectly and you're doing great, says Maddie. I appreciate the confidence. You're lurking and playing Vault Hunters. Cool, cool. You don't understand the game you're here to listen to you play, honestly. I, I need to do a better... Better, better describing it then. Seeing this game not in a setting of speedruns really puts it in a different light. I forgot, though, thought goes into making those systems when pre-optimized blueprint sequences gl glances over it. Yeah, that, that's one of the tug and pulls with this game is that you can play it with blueprints and, like, achieve the big picture stuff at the end, but there's a lot of fun in this more middling around coming up with contraptions part of the game as well. And I, I really like this. I really like the, the small-scale problem-solving and stuff. So this is uh, this is definitely my cup of tea right here. Okay, now as I run out of those, let's see. So we're now short on green. 
I can I can start to see a little bit of a problem here, which is that we need to have a lot of red in order to get green going. I think. That's that's our is that our recycler? That's for recycling green. Yeah, so we need we need more than fifty red in the system to get the green to come through. So this might be Oh, those are the wrong way around. This might be where we actually need to start scaling this up. Ah, uh, there would be one, wouldn't there? There would be one that's slightly off. Yeah, we might need to scale this up in order to get more stuff on the belts now. Okay, let's take uh, those. That needs to be on my hotbar, really. Because now we're obviously consuming a lot more power, but then we get to play this game of uh, like trying to scale it up. And some of this original stuff we got lying around can go at some point. Right. Um, needing to breathe because Spine said no at the moment. Yikes. Sushi Fulgura scares me. I am watching with bated breath. It, the, the principle is we know how much is on the belt. And there is the contents of the belt. We get rid of stuff when too much of it is on the belt. Now, that means that there's always room on the belt for stuff. And, you know, as the belt gets bigger, we should be changing these values, really. So that they get to go further around before they get trashed. Uh, which could technically be an issue. I think someone was trying to explain that earlier and it didn't make sense to me, but now it does. Like, if you have a really long belt and you can have more than 50 ice before it reaches this bit, that could be a problem. Uh, fortunately for us, we're, we're building most of the stuff off of the beginning run after things get recycled. By the way, I've just realized um, that we have a big problem, and that is that we have dismantled all of this stuff and not rebuilt it properly. I think it's time for these ones over here to go. Uh, let's just get rid of that. So the, the overall goal, I guess you could say, is that we're trying to balance it, those numbers, to achieve a bit of harmony with what's going on. So as we notice that um, we constantly need more of one type of thing and there's like space on the belt, we'll be able to accommodate for that, hopefully. Okay, so the electric mining drills, look at this, this is crazy. Electric mining drills need to go out and do some work. I'm going to cordon off this area for them. Uh, that's kind of awkward, isn't it? And then we need to make some more, so we'd be wise to do that over here, right? Every time we need something, we come back over here and we're going to plop it into this system. Uh, let's perhaps go through this all one by one now. So we've done accumulators. Uh, we want we want to make scrap machines, right? So we'll put that there. All of the contents, things that are required, are on our sushi belt. Uh, then we want to make lightning rods, so we'll go put that there. Right, now, you'll probably spot that the belt doesn't come over here, so let's go add the belt. Uh, we're going to relocate that. What is it like without it, actually? Oh, look, the whole area is kind of covered. Um, I'll go place this all the way over here. Get rid of that. There's one thing there. Okay. That's now covering a little more over in that space. Right, so this here needs to visit the one at the end. Uh, then we might have room for one more. That'll pull from the other side, so don't worry about that. Uh... Oh dear. This gets to go all the way back that way, and we're out. But then we go click on that and we've got 100 more. Brilliant. It's starting to shape up. I like it. Okay. Um, then we want to do something like this. Rotate and just drop them in there. Get that. Put it over here. And then get these things going. Right, those should have copied, yep, the one stack thing. 
and there you go. Now, I, I'm going to guess once again, power is probably going to be an issue, right? <laughs> Let's keep... As we keep adding stuff, we've got to keep doing all of this. Accumulators have got to keep building up a charge. Wow. Wow, we've got tons of scrap coming in. Is it backing up? It's just about reaching the top one, so we want to we want to scale a little bit again. Uh, we're going to take more of those. We're going to take... Uh, well, we've not got any mining drills yet. Short on the green circuits currently. So again, we need to up the amount of scrap coming through to get the green circuits up, because they're going to get recycled somewhere. Yo, yo, that was a stupid move. I didn't know what that thing was. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It was, it was like slightly obscured, and I was just looking at the base. I thought everything above it was part of the machine, and so I destroyed it and then realized what a colossal idiot I am. <laughs> when sushi belts, one of the most important things, in my opinion, is belt speed, as you have random items and sometimes the one you don't you need won't arrive immediately. I think you're right. I think, um, I think upgrading the speed is, is probably a really good shout. Um, in order to do that, we could just simply change this here to a different recipe. So uh, we'll just leave it like that for now. That's fine. I'm going to take that and rebuild it. Uh, so in order to... How many assemblers do I have? I don't actually have assemblers. Hmm. I need... Do you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to select... Hold, hold on to some of these materials and select put them into certain spots. There is there is stuff here, though, that I could really do with just chucking at these various things, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll probably do a plentiful amount of that soon. I feel like a lot of the time when I play this game, I'm like halfway through a thought and then the next thought comes along and I'm like... Okay, wasn't I explaining something and now we're doing something else? Yeah, so if you look at those two ingredients, um, that fits very snugly there. We can take from there and we can move from there to there. So we make the yellow belt and then we turn it immediately into a red belt over here. So we can start to really speed this stuff up. And eventually maybe get some blue inserters too. Okay, then that is going to need to give us uh, a chest. I'd like to put it there, but no gonna put it over here and uh, that one we're gonna need like a lot of so we'll do that okay let's check on this is anything broken no nope. I think we just had a spooky one off really uh, I'm gonna throw down some chests over to the side let's pick these things up because we've accumulated like quite a bit of some of these materials and I might need them again later. So rather than getting rid of them, I think what we'll do is just chuck these into here for now. Uh, not the cogs, they're going to be useful. That stuff we'll put over there. We haven't even got to that yet. And now what we really want is some more miners, some more of those. We're trying to scale up that stuff and then get these faster belts going. So I really want to dump um, lots of my resources into the belts, don't I? And then I need to keep the accumulators rising. Possibly get some more of the other stuff too. Let's check the power network. It's looking alright. I think we might need more lightning rods spread out as well. Sandwich Man says, having fun X. I'm trying to wrap my head around how to set up a Coverex on my first playthrough about looking up. Uh, isn't that the uranium stuff? It's, it's good fun. I would recommend not looking it up. This game is a technically, in some way, like a puzzle game. Um, yeah, so I, I recommend not <laughs> not choosing it. Oh, do they, like, do they stack into one? We're about to find out. No, they don't. I want to place some of those down. Right, what else do we need, chat? I need your help. What else have I forgotten to do? We've done inserters. I could actually go ahead and do the faster ones, but I think we'll wait until later for that. Um, if I did, building it over here would be kind of handy. It's really just dumping resources into red belts as a priority. And I really want to check out this new stuff with the ore that we haven't barely touched as well. Rails, says Maddie. Do I want rails? There is stone, there is... Is there iron? 
rods getting onto there, or do I want to craft them from iron myself? We have no iron rods on the network, unless we're, unless we're seeing a limit of how many items it will display. So I want to go and use two assemblies next to each other. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. There we go, got one more. So we're talking iron rods goes into the rail. I, I, I just got done setting this up back at base today, which is funny because I had to set up all the concrete stuff. And I've just realized that on this planet, it's now easy to craft that stuff. Um, so not only do I want that, I actually then want rails to point into other things. So I kind of want... kind of need more of this. I need more assembly machines right now. Yeah, I kind of want to do this slightly different. Okay. Uh, I don't have my robots to help, do I? I wonder if I can make me some flying machines. I don't know why I decided to start there. But I did. I guess, actually, no, that does make sense. You want to get the, the scrap coming through nice and fast. It would be really cool if we could set up some lamps that show you when these things down here are activating. Because I might, I might already want to be tweaking those numbers, right? Um, just glancing at what's happening here, like... That stuff coming out. So, like, a red one's gone in, but that's producing green, so that's actually good. Yeah, I'm not actually... Yeah, there, there, there's, there's going to need to be a process to do that. Like, I need to know... Need to pay attention to what's missing down here, or like what we're not getting, and then travel over there to fix it. But couldn't say I fully got my head around that idea yet. Right, I did say mining drills. Each time I come across here to do something, mining drills becomes uh, a keen interest. And this stuff here, we need more of that. Let's scale up again, essentially. That's what we're trying to do. So now we're going to grab some of our beltage. Bring it in from this side. Need to get over there, really. Uh, probably in two spots. Is there something there I'm supposed to mine? Okay, uh, let's get one of you here. Is that it? I only had one more to add. Great. Just great. One, two, three. More scrap is going, and some of it is starting to move around fast, which I can barely increase again. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what I could do. I could come down here and dump some of my materials because I want more of a particular thing. You know what? We've got plastic going into here. Wait, that's... No, it's the wrong one. Does that one destroy? No, it doesn't. That don't, okay, I didn't put it in the wrong one. I just don't know. If I did this for a while, then I could learn. Wow, that's a lot of iron. Oh, it's putting it there. Puts it on the ground. Interesting. Let's see what's going on. So that's staying there. So now, like, plastic, right? So that reaches 100%. And it just reduces itself. So by putting plastic on here... I'm not actually trashing it, I'm reducing it if it goes back onto the belt. That is a concept I hadn't actually thought of. Like, rather than completely trash, you just reduce. I don't know what happens with these other materials, though. So we're, we're going to leave that alone. That might be a thing I have to come back and fix. Um, I didn't get any more of those. Do we need any? Yeah, the ones at the top are only just about getting some scrap. And basically not enough stuff reaches around this side in time. Probably find bits like that are getting it first. Okay. Where does this start? There. Hey, we got another one. Right, maybe I could craft one. That might help. Yeah, I can craft four. That's brilliant. That's what we need to do. We need to focus on this. Cool music kicking in. 
These are these are very poorly laid out, I know. Let's let's try again. That's more like it. Okay, then over here I think we're really like running short. Yeah, it's going to pick up a little bit, but not for long. Uh, we can also put that there, I guess. Alright, so that's, that's amped up that stuff. Now we need more accumulators again. How's this thing doing? 16 now? It feels like it's starting to tick up a little bit. Next one along. And look at all those scrap machines. Yes, it's all filled up. Put one more down. So up here, it doesn't look like they're working. It's just literally a matter of space on the belt now. I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet that there is more items than these things can pick up on the belt system. So like... There's 141 blue, and this thing just can't... What's wrong with that? That should be picking stuff up and putting it in, but it's not. 141, right? And it's set to 50? What did I do wrong there? I am not sure. Blue inserters going into the recyclers will help a lot, since most of the time they are without items inside. Uh, without, okay. But, like, it's not doing it. Uh, let's double check this thing. The arrow is facing the right way. Then it stopped. What? It's 145. Huh. Uh, that's... Chat. Can anyone explain that to me? Have we scrapped iron ore? We have. Iron ore's over there. Okay. Like, I can see some other numbers are at 50. That's interesting that they're at the exact right amount. So that one's at 73. And it's got 50. So that one's, that one's actually functioning correctly. This one isn't. I don't understand why. It's connected to 65. That's connected to 64. 60, wait, wait. So is it somehow... Uh, I think... That is talking to something... Oh, no. Okay, undo. How do I, how do I like, remove... What is it? It's talking to something totally different. I'll, I'll get it to talk to that. And now it starts working. Weird. There's like another wire there that just goes to nothing. Well, that solved that problem. That gets more green circuits in the mix. Good stuff. Let's come back up here. Like, we just have to patiently await this thing speeding up a bit more. Where are we up to here? Whoops. Right, and there we go. Now it all comes around to that bit a bit quicker. I think we're going to need faster repeaters before long. Uh, repeaters? These things. So, like, that's going to need to point into that one. Then we're going to need those. And this is for the, the belt balancing stuff. Uh, there isn't much of a gap to put this anywhere else but here. So uh, we'll start to make a few of those. And pull from over there. 
Is the belt reading everything? It is. You meant the ones after the scrap miners, those ones. It's not connected to the pole. This one here. That's connected. 64. 64. 64. I think they I think they mostly are. There might be like one I accidentally missed, but I can see green cables going to a lot of them. Right, and is there an accumulation of anything else on this network that shouldn't be there? I'm not really seeing anything yet. The fact that it orders it by what's highest kind of helps, because then you can spot when there's all of a sudden too much of a thing coming through. But uh, it kind of looks like it's sorting itself out pretty nicely. I'm kind of concerned about plastic, though. Um... Anyway, we can look over here and see that this thing is completely backed up now, so that's good. Uh, the day-night cycle... Are we making our way through it? Yep, we've got enough accumulators to get through it. That's good. So we can probably start to use some more powerful uh, inserters. That should really be like that, shouldn't it? And then there's, there's other stuff here that we're not getting. We're not getting iron sticks steel's kind of lacking let's check up on those things then like where's steel down here and what is it set to 70 and we got seven so that makes sense but then where do we get iron sticks from isn't it from recycling iron so that was set to 100 and we have 18 so there's no wonder yeah okay so this is where like the balancing act isn't quite making sense Feels like, aren't I supposed to recycle iron cogs into iron? And I don't think I... No, 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 I did do it here. It might be that we want another one of those. Because, look, we've got 300 and we set it to be at 50. I mean, that is actually too much. But now let's go ahead and grab that. I think we're going to want another one of these here. Which, technically... Oh, no, no, I do want to use the inserters because it puts it on the opposite side of the belt. That was an important thing. That was important for us. Okay, let's go ahead and take uh, not the craziest amount of those because they're right at the beginning. And they need a couple. Don't you need to craft iron sticks? Uh, it might be, yeah, it might be that I need to craft them. That, that could well and truly be it. I'm seeing now that the opposite side of the belt is getting quite full up. And do you know what it is? I'm seeing a lot of copper wire on there. Okay, uh, let's go do this. Oh, I've built this in the wrong spot. Now we get to add that and then change it to have no filter. Now that's the wrong way around. going on I know it's in the wrong way uh, it's in the way that's why I'm trying to remove it okay um, now we want to set it up to the circuit network which it is okay now also on the circuit network copper wire is at 300 so that doesn't go down into anything else, which means we would scrap it over here. That would be the correct way to do it. Uh, I need more inserters. Copper wire does look like it's becoming a problem. We got any of those yet? Nope, because you need iron. And we ain't got enough iron. We're getting there. We're getting there, peeps. We're balancing. We're doing the balancing act. Okay. Let's try this again. We want to have that hooked up to this and then set it to only work for copper wire, which it just picked up. And we don't want a crazy amount of this on the wire. I think we're going to go with uh, 100. Let's flip that around so now it's going to be active that though i think i might want to upgrade to a blue one pretty soon right now this one is recycling stuff what we were going to do here i think we were going to put in iron cogs uh like that 
like this. Now, the last time we did it, we decided the number was 150. So this is the first one where I'm using two, which might change when we get the blue ones in because they'll do the job faster. But now, now we're recycling that twice and that should give us some iron plates. So more iron plates start to come into the system because we're properly handling this stuff. Also, I picked up loads of scrap. Let's go ahead and just uh, drop it into all of this. Now I shouldn't have any inventory. Brilliant. Right. I think I might start moving some more of that stuff in my inventory into these systems down here. Dark Solid X, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Hey, Asuma. I'm still waiting to join Hermitcraft, lol. Just kidding. I was pondering on getting into Factorio, but already have Satisfactory. What's the difference between the 2D and the 3D? Great question, my dude. Thank you for the cheers and biddies. Um, Factorio is more honed in on the puzzling aspects like solve problem solving i think its management of uh the flow of items is far more interesting the the way the tech tree works satisfactory is a bit a bit more i think lighter and friendly the tech tree is less um interesting it's a bit more repetitive but it's it's kind of about that 3d environment and being immersed in it Factorio, it has its own sense of immersion because it's 2D top down, it's a little different. But this game is really like a open-ended puzzle solver. That that's the big difference for me. Um, when I play Factorio, I feel far more connected to the puzzles and the problem solving. And satisfactory, although I haven't done a lot of it, it struck me as being more on the shallow end of that spectrum, essentially. Right now. Is it me or is this belt really humming with items? It's almost like the numbers that we got here can't be right. So we've got 165 green on there now. And when we put green in here, we are recycling it. We're not scrapping it though. Maybe we need to start scrapping some of that. I feel like somewhere here I've made a mistake with this concept. And, okay, copper plates. Maybe it's like things like that. We haven't done copper plates yet. Copper plates, let's recycle them. I think once we get the fast inserters, this stuff will probably balance out way better. Wait, where am I going here? I know where copper plates are. I've got some in my inventory. Alright, swap that around and we'll set it to 100. Right, we're going to try and get those numbers better under control, is essentially where we're at. Uh, any of these yet? Nope, because of iron. And we're really short on iron. There's 65 iron on the belt. And that, that number should get up towards 100, but then stuff up here is going to be pinching it all the time. So like 28 assembler machines, let's just say that's good enough. We can leave that one alone. Uh, we've got our 50 steel. That might be why steel ended up being low for so long. It's because it was getting chugged by that. It's starting to build back up. Okay, electric miner drills. We don't want any more. Uh, those things we're good with for now. This isn't assigned to anything. That one's got eight. I think we'll just say we're good. Let's let this stuff start to back up. Same for the accumulators. Uh, let's get this iron going into other things now. We still want this. Uh, maybe now that we've got that much already built, we probably don't want to overdo it. Uh, also, can I like dump off a bunch of that into here? That might help save some resources in the meantime. Because I do have things in my inventory. Uh, right, now along here is, is good. Oh, whoopsie. What the heck? Is there like one yellow bit there that I missed or something? Looks weird the way it all slows down. I guess it gets slowed down by what's ahead. I gotta admit it, like the, something about this sushi belt just don't look right to me. Like, look at red. Okay, so now we got 200 red. But red gets recycled. This, this thing is probably, look. We're, the throughput here isn't good enough, is it? So that thing's probably 
detecting, but like there's other stuff already in there, maybe? Here comes some red ones. I want to see them go in. It's not picking them up! It's connected to 64. It's configured the right way. It's not putting them in there. Is it because of these outputs being full? Yes. Okay, so if the output of these machines are full, it causes an issue. So the speed of that is causing a problem. And then when we look at this, these numbers are getting ridiculously high. So we need to scrap some of that stuff, I guess. I'm definitely this is definitely not going quite as smooth as I thought it would. But I'm hoping that increasing the speed of those things will make a big difference. Did I actually get those? Right, this is where this is where we want to make a big difference now, okay? So uh we want outputs oh my god it's all backing up though maybe we want inputs to be faster then hmm which ones interesting Maybe I haven't... Maybe maybe I genuinely need more of these machines doing stuff, right? There's way too much stuff on the other side of that belt. Now. So we need to... We need to start to scrap some of that. Oh, it's tricky. It should be obvious if I've missed something, by the way. Like, I was thinking, if I've missed something, will I know? It should be really obvious, right? Like, some, some numbers should start to rise. Like, the green ones, but... I guess we're probably not scrapping them is the issue. We are recycling, but then that's being shared with other things. Let's go put in... One, two, three here. Uh, then we're going to hook them all up. Like that. Uh, you are going to... Oh yeah, let's set up the filters on all of them. Right, so what's going on here? Is anything backed up? Kind of looks like that one broke, right? And we don't know why that happens on occasion. Should just continuously do that back and forth and be fine. But how did stone get in there? Maybe that literally happened just now because of the filtering system that we have. Anyway, um, clearly I'm not fully understanding what's going on here. So we're going to add one to get rid of copper, I think. Copper and green circuits. And now we've got loads of concrete as well. Uh, copper. Set that to 150. Which is much higher than I originally intended. Uh, how about concrete? Swap that round, 150. We didn't even get to the uh, halum and whatever it was called stuff. Okay, then there was one more thing that I said we needed to change. Green. We haven't scrapped any green when that becomes too much, so... Uh, green circuit. Oh, so much stuff. Okay, that should help alleviate some of the stress that we've been feeling here. Those numbers should become more reasonable. I don't think we've got anything for scrapping batteries. No, we do. And it's set to 50. So this thing is just overworked. You can tell by the amount of stuff there. So then you've got the output and then the belt is full. This is really awkward. I, I think this might be the issue, though, that these are not fast enough. Maybe speed modules. Can I actually craft those? I could if I get a bunch of green circuits. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and just grab some stuff off the belt. Because there's a lot of green there. Right, it'll take a minute, but I might put speed modules in here. That might genuinely make a bit of a difference. Because it feels like we've covered everything, yet it's not quite working. 
Because that's just not getting out. There's not enough room. If I take it out, then other stuff starts to work a little better. So we, we definitely want all the inserters down here at blue. Wow, and now we've got a stack of those. Awesome. Right, let's zoom in. Uh, yep, yeah, make sure all of these are the top type. Top, 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 top. That's the other way around. Okay, then these ones will go that way around. And that is basically everything there. So I think speed modules would be our solution. And they take a while to craft. Actually, is it our solution? Because it's, it's the pace at which the items come out, not the pace of the machine. Huh. I might have thought about that incorrectly, I guess. Now, it's, it's kind of looking like it's it's balanced now, which is weird because of, like, battery here is got 170 on. Maybe the issue is there's... Oh, this is probably it. There's so much stuff coming out here that this doesn't actually keep up, right? Like, these numbers get higher because there's just too much coming through for them to pick up. So if we multiply the amount of times we see something, like battery, then maybe that helps us keep on top of it. So you've also got to consider the amount of stuff you're chucking into the system needs to be balanced at this end. This is this is such a weird challenge. Such a weird challenge. Feels like it could all just collapse at some point. Uh, anyway, so we want to make rails. We started on that a little bit, I guess. And I think I was going to move it somewhere else. I think I'm, going to, I'm just going to have to wrap it up there. We didn't... We didn't get to see as much of this uh, planet as I would have liked to. But uh, there you go. Have I been to Volcanus yet? I haven't. I was thinking of doing a stream for each planet that we visit. Uh, but it feels like we've only just scratched the surface on this one. Unfortunately. Like it would have been nice to see uh, more of the stuff that's... You know, in... In this hole world, whatever we're calling it. Because we didn't even get to check out that new material that it's got. And my plan for tomorrow is to stream some Hermitcraft, so... Unless that changes, that's what I'll be doing. It's funny, though. I said earlier, like, you're always going to learn, you do, and you learn, and it doesn't quite work how you think, and... And then you've got to try and suss out what exactly it is that went wrong. And for us today, we had the right idea. What we didn't consider is that we need the removal of items to keep up with the pace of the incoming items. And it seems to me, like I mentioned the speed modules, it seems to me this is actually keeping up. So this running at full speed isn't cutting it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Maybe maybe a speed module might make a bit of a difference. Let's put one in here. And then one in there. Oh, that, that's a poor choice because that rarely gets used. Um, so which ones get used a lot? I think it's this one here that does the bulk of the work. That does seem to that does seem to help with this one here, doesn't it? The the inserter is actually keeping up, and then this one over here is all of a sudden not doing anything. That's I think related to the amount of items on the opposite side, really, of the belt. Yeah, the belts just get full up again. It's ridiculous because we're just continuously pumping more and more stuff onto it. Yeah, look at those numbers. They do they do look more reasonably balanced now, though. And it seems to be chugging on. Red belts might help. Going to take some time to chug, uh, put everything on. Might help a bit. Look, look at the outside lane. The outside lane's going slow. Dang it. Uh, one thing I need to do is get that built. While I remember. 
So, but yeah, anyway, I'd love to keep going, but uh, I think we're just going to have to wrap it up right here. There you go. There you go. That's where I'm going to save my game for now. Um, that'll be the end of the stream for me. Extra long one. And I might continue with this planet or my, my kind of, in my mind, my goal was to um, go to a new planet each stream because I don't want to do a crazy amount of Factorio streaming. I imagine I'll bore you all to death with it, but... Uh... But yeah, let's go find a channel to raid. I uh, hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Come back again tomorrow for some Minecraft. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan right now. That's kind of the plan. I'll, I'll raid a random Factorio channel for you today, okay? So uh, yeah, thanks. Hope you enjoy what you see. Bye-bye.